Weapons in Ark. There's a few of them. There's so many out there in fact I thought I'd run a poll to see what you believe are the top 10 weapons in Ark with me giving my rundown on why I believe you chose it. You're right kids, it's Ross Clark and the following is indeed a top 10 list of weapons. And when I mean weapons, I mean tools included, as the ARC wiki page details them all within the weapons category. Before we get into it, the rundown is using the weapons at their base level. If you're not aware, most of these on the list can scale with blueprints or pre-made given in drops, increasing their durability and damage, and can be scaled if you've got a blueprint and make it with crafting skill. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. In at number 10, the pick, of which there are two variations, the stone, which you get at level one, right off the bat, giving you a measly 0.4 durability and doing a measly 16 damage. Succeeded, of course, by the metal pick, which you can unlock at level 20, offering a much improved 40 durability and an improved 32 melee which like any melee weapons, will increase with your melee stat. Not normally the weapon of choice when fighting anything, unless you're very desperate, but is certainly the tool you're going to want in arc, enabling you to start that crafting journey. With it more proficient in gathering raw meat than hide, more thatch than wood, and more flint than stone. In fact, even with all of those harvesting creatures out there, it's very efficient in gathering flint and crystal. And the metal pick is certainly the one you'll be using to farm metal before anything else. In at number 9, the metal sickle. Sickle your pickle at level 30, with 40 durability and offering 50 points in damage. Meaning this can be used as an effective melee weapon if you're really struggling not to wield anything else. It's certainly the early go-to weapon for fibre harvesting, being able to harvest a wealth in no time at all and is certainly overlooked as a great way to gather raw prime fish meat. In at number 8, the Mining Drill, a late addition to Ark that dropped with Genesis. Unlocked at level 80, offering an insane 700 durability, but no damage ability. It's going to require gasoline to run, but harvests just about anything, with a laser to drill through all that you see. Just be careful not to overheat it and brings a very unique ability with a weight reduction for any harvested resources whilst you've got it equipped. In at number seven, the crossbow, the multi-tool. Unlocked at level 25 with 100 durability, offering 95 damage with stone or flame arrows, although flame arrows will of course deal an extra 22 damage per second for eight seconds, and 35 damage per trank arrow. It doubles up as a great tool for getting around, equipping grappling hooks to see you swing around like Spider-Man and Action Man zipline away. It's certainly the go-to weapon for me when taming a Giga, as trank arrows from a crossbow deal more torpor per second than a long neck, but of course less damage, but in the case of a Giga that requires so many tranks to knock out, it's really effective to use trank arrows and build up that torpor, perhaps switching to a long neck for the remaining knockout shots. With this and most other guns, shooting most creatures in the head will deal 2.5 times the damage, scaling of course with trank arrows making them more effective to knock out your tames, with all arrow shot being able to be recovered if you're quick, but trank arrows will revert to stone once collected. And it can also be used underwater, making it a very, very useful all-rounder. In at number 6, the bowler looking quite suggestive unlocked at level 9 with obviously no durability or damage but being one of the first things you'll want to use when taming those early dinos. Being able to trap dinos for 30 seconds and of course humans in place for 25 seconds. They have the ability to dismount a player and you can struggle out of a bowler by switching to your fists and pressing the fire button which reduces the remaining duration of the bowler by one second per each attempt. You can also free anything in a bowler trap by whipping it, and you must hold swing on a bowler for 0.4 seconds for it to be effective. But especially in PvP, it really offers an advantage against your foes, if you're able to trap them. In at number 5, the Spyglass. You're going to want them, unlocked at level 7, 
with a gain no durability or damage but will see anything from far away with you being able to check the owner of structures survivor player names and checking the level and gender of wild dinos it also doubles up as a great tool to whistle follow from range which helps in those scenarios where you may have fell off your flyer and can also be used to attack distant targets it's certainly something everyone should be carrying in their hotbar and it's no surprise to see this in the top 10. in at number four the fabricated sniper rifle the most expensive and hardest to unlock on this list unlocked at level 83 resembles a cross of a modern dragonov svd and an m14 ebr with a measly 70 durability losing one per shot meaning you've only got 70 shots per a primitive sniper rifle but dealing a decent 165 damage although this is reduced to 115 against creatures with their 70 percent damage reduction to guns it will of course need advanced sniper bullets and whilst not being as high damage as a long neck it's a lot quicker off the draw being effective at all ranges with a built-in scope low recoil and if attached with a silencer can be a very effective tool in pvp it's great to see this up on the list but i did expect it to be a bit higher perhaps outweighed from the lack of pve uses in at number three the compound bow unlocked at level 79 offering a 55 durability and a decent 75 damage with stone or flame arrows again flame arrows offering an extensive damage per second for eight seconds it's certainly not the one you want to use for trank arrows dealing 27 damage but once equipped with the armor piercing metal arrows will deal a whopping 175.5 damage dealing increased damage to creatures not all of them but for example they will deal 3.3 times damage to titans with a small drawback of being required to pull back at 90 percent to get the maximum damage output but certainly with the armor piercing effect can be a devastating weapon against all foes with me personally using them in the past effectively against manners although the metal arrows can build up that cost it's no surprise to see this near the top but what has beaten it to the top duo in at number two the long neck rifle unlocked quite early on at level 35 and appearing to be based on the winchester offers a 70 durability and a whopping 280 damage per simple rifle ammo being decreased a little to 196 against creatures but of course meaning it's boasting high damage at such a low cost to make with a drawback of reloading after every shot and being your go-to gun for knocking out anything with trank darts shocking darts or pheromone darts all hitting for 26 but dealing their own individual scaled knockout or retract abilities it can be effective with a scope attachment but sadly offering a bit of a sway so you might want to throw that away and you can't use the scope with trank darts but its ability to knock out and deal decent damage puts this high on the list of weapons you need in arc with only one more beating it but before we get into that let's have a special mention to the weapons that just didn't quite make the cut so you voted this as number one the pump action shotgun unlocked at level 55 looking similar to a remington 870 express tactical offers a decent 300 durability and a whopping 14 times 46 damage per simple shotgun ammo again being reduced against dinos but meaning it offers a whopping 354.2 damage per second a lethal addition to any pvp fight or cave run for instance being a tighter spread shot than the regular shotgun and half the cost of a sniper it's definitely the go-to weapon in the heat of a fight or boss runs for any of you rockwell runners out there with a cool trick to know that you can reload in third person faster than in first person because it uses the assault rifle animation but overall being a mean weapon in arc and the number one voted by you kids out there thanks all for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this list do you agree drop a comment below let me know did you learn anything i hope you did 
if you're not subscribed make sure to hit that button as we'll be doing more votes in the future for more top 10s my name's ross clark don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always peace out Thank you.